From the studios at WBONTV.com, here is what's happening. Officials are still awaiting the identification of a female discovered in Madison County Sunday evening. Police report the body was discovered after officers received a call. The body was discovered near Clay's Ferry Bridge. The death is being investigated as a homicide. Clark County officials are investigating a deadly vehicle crash on I-64. The single vehicle crash Monday night involved a dump truck that crashed and blocked traffic in the westbound lanes. The traffic was redirected. Details have not been released and the investigation continues. A house fire in Mount Vernon has claimed two pets. Sunday afternoon, firefighters responded to a house fire on Daly Street. Everyone got out safely, but two of the seven kittens perished in the fire. The cause of the fire is under investigation. It's not been a week since Danville School started and the teachers are ready under investigation. It started when a video showed a teacher apparently removing a hat from an Hispanic student while saying what many are calling racially insensitive comments to the child. Danville School officials are promising an investigation. After the video went viral on Facebook, school officials also promised the results of the investigation would be handled quickly. If you're looking for a job, Keeneland Racetrack's looking for you. Keeneland is looking for 2,000 seasonal employees ahead of the annual fall meet. Keeneland is looking for employees in hospitality, parking, security, and bedologists. Workers will receive paid training and 40 paid hours a week. The hiring center will open September 3rd on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and a job fair is scheduled September 21st. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Likens.